What is happening, guys? Cowboy here, and we are back with more Scholar for you. So if you remember, we left off after just killing the Smelter Demon. So the first thing we're going to do is grab this chest and then head on down there again. Just remember, I think this is a, a shield in here. Horse shield, the piggy shield. So for those that don't know, right after you kill Smelty, good old Pursuer comes back. And this was actually even before um, Scholar the First Sin, he would show up here. Alright, you gotta stop at that. We're not doing that. Maybe I should cast. Oh, calm down, Pursuer. Man, you're a lot beefier than the last Pursuer. I mean, you're still a chump, but... Taking a bit longer to kill you than the last time. Oh, he got one. Well, I'll be damned. You got two. It really is kind of funny how simple this boss is once you know you can just parry the shit out of it. It's just parries for days. Come on, you know that's not going to hit me. You're going to have to do better than that. There we go. Not what I meant to do. <laughs> Just one handed, considering it's almost doing the same amount of damage. It's slightly less, it's hitting 250 versus like 208. And one more. Oh, no way! Oh, wow, for a second I thought he killed me. Not what I wanted. There we go. All right, he definitely uh, gave me a run for my money there. We're gonna blades plus one. Now, if I, yeah, I'm not even using. Probably over the old Leo ring. I mean, the damage won't be as much. Obviously, the uh, silver black spear having a focus on dark damage kind of negates out the real benefit of the ring. Because I'm sure there's some people curious real fast, so I'll actually go into the current stats. We're at 108, 20 Vigor, 20 Endurance, 5 Vitality, 25 Attunement, 15 Strength, 15 Dex, 8 Adaptability, 27 Int, and then 27 Faith. So, if we're going to go on down this way... What's up, buddy? Bow down to a true him. Right? What is this? I'll tell you what, that is a very, uh, very discreet summon sign spot. Ugh. Alright. Is this place still, uh, filled with reds? No, it is not. I guess that's only on New Game Plus. Alright, so we got our large shard, got our dragon bone. Now, I did go slightly ahead of where we're at now. Um, basically, the other day I was streaming, and I wanted to unlock Belfry Soul just for the sake of doing some PvP on stream this build. In terms of, um, you know, like, missed content. Really didn't miss anything. That guy's dead. Stop that. That's my walking path. Dick. Alright, now we should get a Forsaken spawn. 
right here if he shows up. No, he's not. Why isn't the Forsaken showing up? You know what? I'm wondering if <clears throat> I'm wondering if perhaps um, one of our runs to get Belfry Soul Forsaken spawn right here actually fell into the lava. Because that is possible. Give that guy a nice little lava bath. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Alright, well we are going to go through Belfry Soul real fast. And even though I unlocked it, I didn't do anything with it. So obviously you put your block stone in here. And then um, here, climb on up. I wonder if I can rejoin the Covenant while I'm right here. That would probably be a good idea couple more chunks. Chest to grab. Thunder. And then of course you have your bonfire. So one of the NPCs here did unfortunately die. Basically I had <clears throat> you know, a bunch of people invading, and this one NPC would just not get off my dick, so I did unfortunately have to uh, take her out. She was a uh, Spitfire Spear NPC. It wasn't anything, uh, you know, crazy difficult or anything, but still, something to mention because obviously it's, you know, content you guys won't get to see anymore. So, real quick, we're gonna actually take that off, we'll put it on our Bell Keeps ring. Alright, Belfry Soul. Huh. Shit. I don't remember seeing that before. So a bunch of dudes over there. It's one of the NPCs. Like I said, there's going to be a, a Spitfire Spear NPC up here. Not too difficult. Um, I pretty much just poked her a couple times with my spear and she died. So, nothing to really concern yourselves with. Remember... Wrong button. Woohoohoohoo! You gotta back the fuck up. Bad great sword man. We'll take that guy down. Should be one. There we go. More spice. Spice is always nice anytime we're playing a caster. Back there. Hey yo, trespasser invaded. So obviously walk on in here, hit the switch. You always want to ring that bell where you can actually get out. So this guy has rung the bell. You can see there's no gate right there. But he's uh, not through yet. Catch him, kill him, be on our way. You're downstairs? Maybe? You were separated from the world you were summoned to. What? He never, he never went through the gate. Unless he was like sitting by it chameleoned or something. Oh well. Anyway, so after you ring that, uh, we're going to rebuff up before we go forward. Head on upstairs. First thing you want to do is advance up and take out Mr. Avalon's here. Black Witch. Don't 
don't think there's any other one. Special invasion? So obviously if you're not part of the uh, the Bellkeep Covenant, I would recommend joining it, at least while you're going through Belfry Soul. Honestly, it just makes it a lot more entertaining, you know, having little duels here and there. Makes it for a good time. Hello. Hello. Where are you going? Come back. Ooh. Man, you should not try to block them. Oh, are you thirsty? Are you thirsty? Boom! Get out of my bell tower. The bell is defended. But yeah, I mean, getting a chunk every time you kill somebody here, really, really nice way to uh, stack up your chunk count, especially considering they're rather high end. Getting some early is quite helpful. I know, like right now I have, let's actually take a quick peek here. So yeah, eight chunks, and uh, I need one, two, five, yeah, I need at least six for my silver black sickle. Which I actually, if I remember correctly, someone mentioned you can locate that in a chest now. So obviously you got the two archers there and another greatsword guy. Basically just advance so that the archers can't hit you to take out the greatsword guy. And then feel free to take them out. That's the great thing about being in the Covenant while I'm here. Even if somebody invades me, I'll be able to get a... I'll be able to get a chunk off of killing them. So. There it is. Grab Orma's Great Shield. Get our chunk from killing that guy. Grab the last spice. We're on our way out. Nice, clean, and quick. Relation. I actually feel like I'm going really slow right now. Part of it is uh, definitely a bit hungover after the drunk through last night, so I consider this the recovery phase. So obviously you could hit the bonfire if you want, otherwise just uh, right here, slide on down. to get through. Oh, that's a new one. Nope! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What a dumb, dumb way to die. I honestly don't even know if I can recover those. Huh. 
Well, this is going to be interesting. Because if my souls are down on that lava, oh man. That is going to be bad. Very, very bad. So we're going to hop over to Ironheart Hall. That's the bonfire right after Smelter Demon. And then from there, we'll just push our way through, get the loot in this room, and then probably wrap things up there. that you can have so many casts of it as well. Let's pull this down. Dunk that dude. We'll kill you off. We'll send that one back up. Kill you. Trying to think what the best way to do this is. Exceedingly smooth right now. So obviously watch out for the switches right there. If you hit those, the whole platform is coming down. Man, really don't want to deal with this right now. I just want to grab my souls back. I'll probably pull the ring off after this one. I mean, this is the Belfry Soul episode, so... Doesn't hurt to hit a couple invasions in. Oh, it's this poor guy again. He's just trying to get through the area. I kind of feel bad for him now. Where are you running? Come here, my little peach. Oh, my little peach. He's so cute. No, no, no. You don't heal in front of Cowboy. I mean, if you think you can get off a heal, brother, more power to you. But while you're being chased by a silver black spear, probably not the best idea. Okay, good. Everything did not respawn. So what I'm going to do here, for those that weren't aware already, that water actually gives you a very, very short um, fire resist buff. Did that thing actually die? Where are my souls at exactly? They are right there. Oh boy. Um, so this is going to be tricky. One way to do this. Um, I could use it to get all the way over there as well, but I'll wait to get that chest until later. But basically, stacking life gems is a very effective method if you're going to have to run through the hots. So. Ooh, just barely. Just barely, but we did recover them, thankfully. So, of course, there's some loot all the way over there. Um, best way to really get it is to use this platform directly above me and do a running jump to reach it. A um, couple different ways. First, like, firstly, I definitely suggest putting on fire resist. Um, I think the most common method... Oh, this guy's already dead, it looks like. No, Flying Mantis is dead. Uh, but usually I would put on something like Flame Sweat, and then after putting on Flame Sweat... 
to stack those on up. And then you basically jump, grab it, and then haul ass back. Now, I don't think we're going to do that right now, just because, well, for starters, I don't really have enough of those basic life gems lying around to do it. And I also don't even... Actually, I mean, I think I do have Flash Sweat. Maybe I could do it. Where is this guy at, anyway? Looks like he killed the first gray. You sneaky little man, you. What, are we gonna play Ring Around the Rosie all day? Don't fucked up now, son. What? What? Mom! Mom, pull the plug! Mom, cowboy invaded me! Pull the plug! Mom, pull the plug! <laughs> oh my god! I did not think I would capture a plug pool in the middle of the walkthrough. That is fucking glorious. Oh my god. Oh man, that is that is something beautiful right there, ladies and gentlemen. Those are always fucking beautiful when they happen, and getting to see one live like that, oh man. That makes me so, so happy. Oh my god, and one more. One more. Another one. So we'll do this last invasion, and then uh, that'll be it for this episode with Belfry Soul. But obviously, next part, we're going to uh, make our way... Isn't this the same kid? Isn't this the same kid that just pulled the plug? No, no it's not. No it's not. Never mind. Not the same guy, different guy. There you are. Hello, friend. What's up? Yeah, you just gonna block them all day, man. It's fine. Boom! Target destroyed. Man, my PvP talent is on point right now in Dark Souls, it seems. I mean, these kids are, are... They seem like they're all pretty casual players, to be honest. So, you know, it's not like I'm winning world tournaments or anything, but... Whew! I'm definitely on point today. Alright, guys. Well, either way, that does take care of... Uh, of Belfry Soul, pretty much all of it. So we're gonna pull the ring on off for now. Go back to something else. But like I said, we're gonna wrap this one up. Um, the next episode, we are going to. Well, the first thing I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna reset so that I can uh, get the quick peek here. Looks like you might have. Actually, is it? It is! Awesome! I guess it died to the lava. Huh. Well, that's good to know. I think we still got enough Estus to make it through. So, real fast, just to show you guys what I was talking about with that uh, that platform run. Um, you know, right there's the chest. So, best way I have found to do that is, like I said, you're going to stack a couple of life gems. So, just use them. And I mean, like, the basic life gems, which... I think right now, yeah, I only have Radiant and Old, so I'm not going to, you know, use up a ton of those. But, you know, put on, like, six life gems, put on, um, you know, the Butterfly Wings, uh, Flash Sweat, all that jazz, and then jump from here. The Butterfly Wings will give you the extra kind of flight distance you need. And then, of course, you know, you can put on Cat Ring or the other pieces of the Butterfly set to minimize the fall damage. And then, uh, basically, your life gems will help you enough to get the chest. So, if I remember correctly, that used to be... Chaos Storm. I don't know 100% if it is anymore. Um, you know, there's definitely a chance that it changed, being that. Move that platform. Um, definitely a chance that, that that has changed with Scholar. So it might be something different now. I'm not entirely sure. But, um, you know, until I go and, and pick up some of those life gems and toss on Flash Sweat, I'm not going to go and, and grab that. So grab this stuff real fast. We're going to make it right down there. And then we will uh, continue on the next step. I'm actually going to probably, yeah, I'll probably just hit the bonfire up. Just go 
this way. We'll hit the uh, the bonfire immediately above us. We will wrap up there, and then we'll start right where we left off, actually, in the next episode. I might even try and grab the chest. Actually, no, I won't. I won't. When I grab the chest, I'll show it to you guys, but I just don't have the, the proper equipment to get it easily. So either way, guys, thanks for coming by, and we will see you in a couple hours with another episode.